Hello everyone and welcome to a devlog of my tower defense turn based strategy game. The last devlog came more than 2 months back and if you think I have made tons of progress on the game in the meantime, I wish you would have been right. But no. Actually, my wife found a better job opportunity in a different city, so we decided to move all the while being pregnant. A few weeks before the last devlog, we had no plans to move. There were also a few medical concerns coming up with the pregnancy right from the start. I don't want to bore you much with this stuff. Let's say it was a rough period, resulting in us taking more time than usual to settle down in the new city. I completely lost touch with the project and had a lot of trouble starting again. After almost 45 days, sometime in the middle of June, I opened up the code editor and I couldn't understand a thing that was going on. That scared me and I couldn't do anything for another couple of weeks. But then the prospect of another incomplete project was even more scary. So I planned to start by working only for a half an hour twice a day and believe it or not it just worked. I'm still not working for 3 hours straight. For me personally productivity is a very slow process. Anyways enough with the life update and finally back to the game. Looking at my previous work done on aesthetics I only had one question. Why? The approach I took for landscape generation was completely non-usable for my purposes. I need to modify landscape elements like cutting forests or digging up a trench. So I do not know why I decided to create this giant static mesh for the ground in the first place. Sure you can say break up the mesh and update parts of the mesh, but the point is why is that system needed right now? No matter how much you work on aesthetics in the beginning, it will get completely revamped. not to mention the debugging headaches that come with such bloated methods maybe my brain had gone on a vacation so the first task was to get rid of the garbage and have in its place new bags for fresh garbage well hopefully not the new landscape system is extremely simple for tiles there shall be cubes with textures and those tiles may or may not have 3d models on top of them based on what tile it is so a simple grass tile will not have an overlay model but a mountain tile will so will a hill a forest or a hill with a forest water tiles are scaled down to give it a nicer look i currently have seven types of tiles or as i call them terrain combinations in my code i also have an enemy tile here which i will show in a bit extremely simple but more importantly functional for my purpose if i chop down a forest i replace the forest tile with grass tile or if i chop down a forest from a hill I just replace a forested hill with a plain hill. It took me 10 days to implement this only because I was not working for more than 90 minutes a day. Even though I could have done this 3 months back, but hey, what's game development without stupid decision making? The functionality of adding, removing and moving firing units to the game was done quite some time back. I have only made two small changes to it. one which tile is the fighter allowed on for example it cannot be on water or mountain second if the unit is on an elevated terrain like a hill its positioning reflects that so that was it with the updated tile system now gameplay gameplay would most probably be the most complex part of this game being a war strategy game its ai's decision making core shall be presumably very complex How complex I have no idea. Never done anything close. I don't even know all the branches of mathematics that will get involved. But we'll slay the dragons when the dragons arrive. First task is to have a piece of land where the game shall be played. This is this elliptical area surrounded by impassable mountains serving as the boundary for the world. Then we need something to defend. In this case we are defending our village. Then we need a spawn area for the enemy. which is where these gray enemy tiles come into the picture this is also the area that the player cannot go that's it for the sloth like progress for now overall i'm simply putting the systems in place not paying much or any attention to algorithms or optimizations hopefully i'll not go down the black hole of procrastination and will come up with updates more frequently wish me luck thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time